Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB and today I just wanted to talk to you guys about timelines and dimensions. It's imperative that you do not shy away from topics such as these from anyone, not just me, but from anyone. If you want to live your best life, you have to understand that you are living in a holographic reality. Crazy, but it's true. This is what the Mandela effect is trying to get you to understand. It's just another form of a spiritual awakening, just a piece of the puzzle. The universe is trying to jolt you and wake you up to understand that something inside of the matrix has changed. The so-called glitch inside of the matrix is letting you know there's something wrong with this realm of reality. There's something wrong here. Wake up to your real, true realm of reality by understanding timelines and dimensions. I had um, a beautiful, beautiful session with a beautiful soul and one of her concerns was look at what's taking place out there you know how it's like basically how can I not be bothered how can I not be worried and I understood that because I was so fearful and so caught up in everything that was taking place inside of that third dimensional matrix I was petrified because that is the world that I know it to be. There was nothing else. I could not, for me, at that time, which was six years ago, escape that realm of reality. The world was going to end and that was it. That's all she wrote. But that's not true. Because you are in multiple, multiple dimensions and billions of timelines. That means that you are a different person in each dimension and in each timeline because we are avatars in this holographic world. Once you understand that concept and truly embrace it, you change your perspective about what's taking place inside of that 3D dimensional space and understand that I am not on that timeline. I am not inside of that realm of reality. That shit is not going to happen to me because I don't live my life like that and I'm in another timeline. I'm in another dimension where I am working on myself and changing my perspective to expand my consciousness to be in a realm that I am comfortable in. Of course, it doesn't stop there, but you get to where you're comfortable and you bypass by not focusing on it continue to expand your consciousness because that's where the dimensions are there was this if you there was this um series that i've been waiting to come out and because i've been so busy i haven't been able to like really keep tabs on it but this brother just reminded me when i made this other video um about timelines and dimensions it's oa that is so real it's crazy it is so real and i've experienced i i experienced oh boy one of my examples is this mole this mole was on this side of my face it was on the right side of my face not the left side of my face but in another dimension this mole has moved it has changed very hard to believe right once you start to experience this stuff then you can start to understand and have faith and believe with a knowing not believe but have a knowing that you are interchangeable you are in and out of these timelines and dimensions and things on your physical body changes you're not the same that may be, you know, uh, a little hard to conceive, 
But once you start studying timelines and dimensions, you will start to understand, open your mind up to the concept and start to have these experiences on your own. For me, mine are experiences. I'm in and out of these timelines on a regular basis. The first time I jumped, which is called quantum jumping, the first time I jumped, unbeknownst to me, was in 2011. I jumped from a timeline in 2011 is when a lot of shit took place for me. And I ended up quantum jumping into 2012, where the same stuff that caused me to have this supernatural spiritual awakening took place in 2011, but it jumped me into 2012. And that is where the so-called spiritual awakening really happened. I mean, it didn't really happen, but it to this day. The dates in which my spiritual awakening took place was in 2012, but it really happened in 2011. All I'm trying to get you to say to here is start looking into these concepts. If you're not having the experiences yet, start reading about timelines and dimensions. If you stay ignorant to it, you will never see different realms of reality. If you don't open your mind and your heart to understanding that you are on all of these different timelines and different dimensions, with every decision you make, you go into a different timeline and a different dimension. You are a doctor or a lawyer. You are what you wished you would have been. I'm a drug dealer in another timeline. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm everything, everything I could possibly fathom in another timeline. I am. Anything you want is possible. This is why the so-called law of attraction is so popular. It's so uh, cliche. But what it is, is you have to match that vibancy, which is vibrational frequency. You have to match that vibancy in order to get you the dimension and timeline that you want to get into. That's considered the so-called law of attraction. But you have to understand that you are a quantum jumper, right? You have to understand that and believe it and know it. I keep saying believe it, but know it. Know it to be true. And you will bypass everything that's inside of that those realms of reality inside the matrix. I have no clue what's going on inside of 3D right now, but I can only imagine the race war is still popping off. It's still taking place. And I can look at some of those situations when I do come across it on like uh, Instagram or something like that and say, that's not my that's not my realm of reality. That will not be happening to me. I am not inside of that dimension where police brutality is. I'm not. And I will not be faced with that. But there's work that needs to be done on your mind and actions that need to take place to match what you're thinking up here. So you don't see what's taking place down there. All right. So, yes, banks are going to what she was what she was concerned with was banks. And, you know, everybody's concerned with, so you know, different things that are taking place. And yes, in that realm of reality, all that shit is going to happen. It's going to come to an end abruptly. It's horrific, very sad, but we are not on those timelines. We are not going to face that bullshit that is about to come to that place, that realm of reality. We're not there. We will never be there because we are working on ourselves, changing our perspectives to see things in a different way, to see things the real way that they are, the true way that they are, the true way that the world is, which is supernatural, magistical. And that's what you need to open up your mind to understand. Study the Mandela effect. Of course, they want you to think that it's CERN, the universe is trying to tell you, see, this is what they can't do. CERN is the, what is it called? The kaleidoscope, the kaleidoscope. So they're saying that these different, like Jordan is now number 43 or 45. When we all know that Jordan was 23, 
those type of things, these things, this universe is trying to tell you that there are different timelines and different dimensions. In another timeline, Michael Jordan was 23. In another timeline, in this timeline that we're all in right now, he's 45. But that's just a hint and a clue to wake you up. To know that it's not the kaleidoscope. And okay, it could be, it could mimic. They are always trying to mimic what the universe is producing so they can have something to blame it on. But it's actually your consciousness and it's time to show everyone what the universe is truly made of. And this is what we were not able to see because of all the shit that we're eating. We are not cleansing out our bodies. We're not meditating. We're not doing the things that we need to do to connect with the divine, which is the universe. So we can see the realization of our magistical, magical world that we live in. Because they don't want you to see that. They want you to stay slaves. They want you to stay stupid. They want you to stay ignorant. If you don't study these concepts, if you're not having the experiences, you have to study to open your mind up, change your perspective, and feel it inside of your body. That timelines, dimensions, quantum jumping is real. But if you ignore it, you will suffer. Can't coach shit. You will suffer. And I don't want you to suffer because we are not going to be in those timelines. We're not going to, we're not going to see the destruction take place on the planet because we're going to be living our best lives in other dimensions. All right. I love you guys. If you're not having these experiences, get a book, do some look at some videos. I'll try and make a time, make a, uh, what is it called? A playlist. This is what I'm trying to do, but you guys got to bear with me as I go through these roller coaster rides. I sometimes shut down so I can focus, but, um, I'll do my best until then you do your due diligence and look into timelines and dimensions, study it, open your heart to it and start experiencing it. Because the mind is your dimensions. All right. I love you guys. Take care.